Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? It is Daniel Weafi with Vegas Divorce Pros out here in beautiful and sunny Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we are going to talk about prenuptial agreements. So, before we get started, please read the disclaimer that is below this video. We're not attorneys and cannot give you legal advice. So if you do need the legal advice, please seek the assistance of a local attorney. That being said, you guys, let's talk about prenuptial agreements and why many of our cl past clients and our current clients reach out to us to prepare their prenups, okay? So the way I like to look at prenuptial agreements is I personally like to look at it as a marriage insurance, okay? Or rather yet, divorce insurance because basically what you're doing in your prenuptial agreement, you guys and ladies, is you are basically stating that in the event of a divorce, this is what the terms are going to be. Okay, and you're not putting it into the hands of the courts. You guys are acting like adults and you're making your own decision. Who would ever, ever thought that you could do that, right? So the biggest thing that you want to cover in your prenuptial agreements, you guys, is you want to cover uh, in the event of a divorce, because look, the numbers, I know when you get married, most people, think that your marriage is going to last a lifetime, which I hope it does. God bless you, okay? But the sad reality is that approximately 50% of first-time marriages end in divorce, and then approximately 63% of second marriages end in divorce, and a whopping 74% of third marriages end in divorce, okay? So, that number is crazy. So half of all marriages and a divorce that are first time, you probably want to protect yourself, don't you? Okay. So you want to go ahead and uh, protect your assets, your property, uh, your bank accounts, houses that you may have, property that you may have, cryptocurrency that you may have, vehicles, boats, your retirement plans, bank accounts, investments, things of that nature, okay? You want to basically state on your prenuptial agreement that in the event of a divorce, this goes to me, this goes to my spouse, okay? It's very, very simple, okay? Maybe you're gonna state that, hey, if we buy a property together in the future out of the marriage, then that is gonna be joint property or we'll split it 50-50, okay? Or you can state any pretty much anything you want to happen in the event of a divorce on how you will split the asset, okay? You want to go ahead and list down the debts that you have, right? And then you want to also list, hey, is there going to be spousal support? Is there going to be alimony? And though that type of thing, okay? So if you're getting married and you want to get your prenuptial agreement as quickly as as possible because you don't want to uh, wait to the last moment right before your wedding before you sign a prenuptial agreement then it looks kind of fishy in the event that you need to use your prenuptial agreement so typically you want to get your uh, prenuptial agreement done about three months in advance to your marriage okay um, so just keep that in mind when you're looking to get your prenuptial agreement. So if you're needing help with your prenup agreement in Las Vegas or Nevada, please make sure that you reach out to us. The link is at the bottom. It is VegasDivorcePros.com, VegasDivorcePros.com. We do give out free 15 minutes phone consultations. So Daniel Weafi, VegasDivorcePros.com. Peace and God bless you guys.